this is my second lecture on immovigilance it is part of my series of lecture on blood banking today i'll talk about adverse transfusion reactions reporting under immovigilance this is my second lecture on immovigilance i have another lecture lecture number 3 on adverse donor reactions reporting under hemovigilance so let us see what are serious adverse events serious adverse events are any untoward occurrence associated with the collection testing processing storage and distribution of blood or blood components that might lead to death or life threatening disabling or incapacitating conditions for patients or which result in or long hospitalization or morbidity so these are serious adverse events this is the list of serious uh, adverse events as uh, a part of uk short program one is incorrect blood component transfused which has two divisions wrong component transfused and specific requirement not met then avoidable transfusion delayed transfusion or under or over transfusion then handling and storage errors then right blood right patient event and near miss event so these are events i'll talk about adverse reactions a little later so this is the event incorrect blood component transfused wrong component transfused where a patient was transfused with a blood component of an incorrect blood abo d group which was incompatible with the recipient which was intended for another patient but was compatible with the recipient other than that prescribed example platelet instead of red cells this is also under wrong component transfused then the second part is incorrect blood component transfused specific requirements not met where a patient was transfused with a blood component that did not meet their specific transfusion requirements then avoidable transfusion delayed transfusion or under or over transfusion this is this include these three things failure to transfuse when indicated under or over transfusion avoidable transfusion and significant delay in transfusion whether caused by the laboratory or the clinical area so these are self explanatory then handling and storage errors these events include transfusion of the correct blood component to the intended patient where handling or storage errors may have rendered the component less safe for transfusion blood available and incorrectly handled stored in the clinical area but not transfused is reported as a near miss handling storage error except where the component has not been collected from a remote storage device then right blood right patient event incidents where a patient was transfused correctly despite one or more serious identification or prescription errors which in other circumstances might have led to an ibct cases involving reactions should be reported under appropriate serious adverse reactions category then the last one is a near miss is an error or deviation from standard procedures or policies that is discovered before the start of transfusion and that could have lead led to a wrong transfusion or a reaction in a recipient if transfusion had taken place then let us see what are the reactions we have just see what are the events so these are serious adverse reactions serious adverse reactions are unintended response in a patient that is associated with the transfusion of blood or blood components that is fatal life threatening 
disabling or incapacitating or which result in or prolong hospitalization or morbidity these are the serious adverse reactions which are listed under uk short program one is febrile allergic and hypotensive reactions fahr previously it was acute transfusion reactions or atr then hemolytic transfusion reactions acute or delayed then transfusion related acute lung injury transfusion associated circulatory overload transfusion associated dyspnea suspected bacterial contamination of the component transfusion transmitted infections post transfusion purpura uncommon and new complications of transfusion this is uct and transfusion associated graft versus host disease so these are serious adverse reactions let us see one by one febrile allergic and hypotensive reactions formerly known as acute transfusion reactions allergic febrile transfusion reactions occurring at any time up to 24 hours then hemolytic transfusion reaction acute hemolytic transfusion reactions are defined as fever and other symptoms signs of hemolysis within 24 hours of transfusion confirmed by one or more of the following that is failure to increment in hp or drop in hp to lower than pre transfusion levels rise in serum lds levels rise in serum bilirubin positive Coombs test, direct Coombs test, incompatible cross match, not detectable pre transfusion. Then uh, hemolytic transfusion reaction delayed, delayed STR are defined as fever and any other symptoms and sign of hemolysis more than 24 hours after transfusion, confirmed by one or more of the following. This is similar to the previous slide. Then post transfusion purpura. It is thrombocytopenia arising 5 to 12 days following transfusion of cellular blood component associated with the presence of in the patient of allo antibodies directed against the human platelet antigen system. Then uncommon and new complications of transfusion not fitting into any other category. Pathological reaction or adverse effect in temporal association with transfusion, which cannot be attributed to already defined side effects and with no risk factor other than transfusion and do not fit under any of the other reportable categories. And this include cases of transfusion associated hyperkalemia. Then transfusion associated grass versus horse disease is characterized by fever, rash, liver dysfunction, diarrhea, pancytopenia, and bone marrow hypoplasia occurring less than 30 days after transfusion. The condition is due to engraftment and clonal expansion of viable donor lymphocytes in a susceptible host. Then transfusion associated circulatory overload. These include the required criteria, the required one are respiratory and additional criteria of cardiovascular system, fluid overload, and biomarkers. Then transfusion associated dyspnea. Transfusion associated dyspnea is characterized by respiratory distress within 24 hours of transfusion. That does not meet the criteria of transfusion associated acute lung injury, transfusion associated circulatory overload, or allergic reaction. Respiratory distress in such cases should not be explained by the patient's underlying condition. Then transfusion related acute lung injury. Acute dyspnea with hypoxia and bilateral pulmonary infiltrate during or within six hours of transfusion, not due to circulatory overload or other likely causes in the presence of human leukocyte antigen, human neutrophil antigen antibodies cognate with the recipient. Then transfusion transmitted infections. Uh, these are defined as in UK short program. Include as transfusion transmitted infection if 
following investigations the recipient had evidence of infection post transfusion and there was no evidence of infection prior to transfusion and no evidence of an alternative source of infection plus we need to have either of these either at least one component received by the infected patient recipient was donated by a donor who had evidence of the same transmissible infection or at least one component received by the infected recipient was shown to contain the agent of infection so either of these two and these then events related to ntd events relating to the requesting and or administration of ntd immunoglobulin and RAADP during pregnancy and after delivery. Then events relating to cell salvage, events and reactions in relation to use of intraoperative and postoperative cell salvage. This is the imputability guidelines as per UK short program. Include these five possible labels one is not accessible then is excluded or unlikely then possible then probable then certain these are the explanations this is the uh, imputability labels as defined in hemovigilance program of india and for comparison i have put on the same slide the uk short system uh, these also have, uh, the Indian system have, also have five labels. These include excluded, unlikely, doubtful, possible, probable, definite. And these are very similar to these, except for minor difference. Then this is the uh, classification of transfusion reactions as given in hemovigilance program of India. This is the... Uh, typical onset after transfusion and these are the type of reactions and uh, unlike the uk short program we have a category as delayed serological transfusion reaction here there is evidence of uh, antibody against red cells but there is no evidence of hemolysis so it is delayed serological transfusion reaction and uh, one more difference is that in Indian system, we have divided transmission transmitted infections as viral, bacterial, and parasitic. And these are the grades which are defined in Indian system in the guide document for reporting adverse transmission reactions of hemovigilance program of India. Grade 1 is non-severe, grade 2 is severe, grade 3 is life-threatening, and grade 4 is death. These are uh, actually self-explanatory, and but these are defined as such. This is the reporting of transfusion reaction. I have covered this in detail in my lecture number one on hemovigilance. The link is given above. And this is the responsibility of blood center as given in hemovigilance program of India. This I have described in my lecture one on hemovigilance. So this is all for today. Thank you very much.